Welcome back, this is the Amma Jack, and today we got Gunslinger Suicidal Edge of Reality. I like this map a lot, actually. It's an easy map, it is. You know, I won't deny that it is an easy map, but it is a fun map nonetheless. So how was your guys' weekend? It's Monday today, Monday morning, 10.30 a.m. I'm feeling pretty good, you know? I, uh... I did forget to record one of the Yamajack tries, so unfortunately, uh, you know, today there's not going to be a Yamajack tries. That's just, that's the way that the, the, the cookie crumbles. You know, I messed up last week. I wasn't going to sacrifice my weekend for the sake of, uh, of the content. You know, we had a good streak going without me missing a Yamajack tries, and I've ruined it. But I would rather ruin that than ruin my weekend, so... You know, it was, a, it was a fair trade in my opinion. Although, this week I want to make sure that I actually get the Amjack tries. The thing is, is, I realized at like 2 a.m. last Friday that uh, I had forgotten to uh, to record it. And I was, I was uploading it and I was making the thumbnails. I'm like, oh, crud. I forgot to... I forgot to make the, the Amjack tries that I was going to record. Like, I think I downloaded the game, but I just I didn't didn't play it. So, no Amajack tries for today. I mean, you guys don't really watch the Amajack tries that much anyway. But, it actually performed really well this week. And it was weird, because uh, the KF2 series got, like, no views. But the Amajack tries this weekend did really, really well. I only get, like, one, maybe two views on a video over the weekend, typically. I don't know why. My, my weekend performance is uh, it's just it's not good. It's not very good. You know, it's just... um. Maybe, maybe it's because towards the end of the week, my, my commentary starts to degrade. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. But the, the weekend videos, they don't do as well. You know? They don't, uh, they don't perform very well. Regardless, it is, it is Monday today. We're feeling good. We're feeling happy and excited to, to get back into the recording. Get back into the... What, what button am I pushing? Oh my god. I don't even remember how to play KF2 anymore. <laughs> I to get back into the streaming today. I've been playing a ton of Monster Hunter World off camera. And uh, today I get to finally actually make some progression. Because I've, I've been keeping the progression stuff for uh, on camera for when I'm streaming. And I've just been doing some optional missions and stuff uh, off camera from time to time. What the heck? Which has been fun. But I'm really, I'm really wanting more stuff to do, you know? I've already hunted everything, upgraded my gear as best I can, and, uh... I wanna get, I wanna get more, more stuff, you know? Anyway. I'm excited to get back into it. I've, I've been looking forward to Monday all weekend. Waiting for the day when I get to play some Monster Hunter and actually get some, some progression done again. Waiting for the day I get to record some more KF2 and talk to you about my stinky hormones. Which, by the way, I realized why they're so stinky. Uh, one of my friends was looking up ways to, to make it less stinky. And less gross. Um, because he's a very sweet man. And I love him very much because he's a, he's a really great friend. And uh, he, he took it upon himself to try and look it up. And then he, he found out why it was stinky. And apparently they're sulfur pills. So... You know, that's cool. <laughs> I'm uh, I'm just taking sulfur, but uh, you know it, it, it does what I need it to. So um, goodness gracious, it does what I need it to. But like it does, it does actually smell like rotten eggs. It smells like a gas leak. It smells just terrible. You know. But now that I know why it's smelly. Now that I understand it, it's been uh, it's been easier for me to take it, honestly. I don't know why, but just um, you know, we talked about it in a, in an episode last week, sometime I forget which one. Um, but just having the knowledge that I love this map because of that, I should have played as, uh, as commando. Anyway, just having the knowledge that uh, I hear something over here that. Not knowledge, but um, like being in the the positive mindset towards something can make such a huge impact to you. And me knowing that it's sulfur, I guess, has has, has impacted 
um, how I feel about it because I don't feel as bad about it anymore, about how bad it tastes and how bad it smells. And then as a result, I guess it's just easier for me to take them now. Because it was I was loathing it, you know, and now I just I still don't like it. It still tastes really, really bad. Like that does it doesn't change that, but it changes how how much difficulty I have with actually taking the pills, you know? That little that little perspective change. Anyway. That's why the uh, the pels the pels smelled so bad. Uh, it's because of the sulfur. Yep. I guess uh, you know the old ones they tasted terrible, but I guess they had a little bit of mint in it, so it made them taste slightly, slightly better. And these ones they didn't put the mint in it, and it's just straight up like just sulfur in your mouth, and it's disgusting. It is horribly disgusting, but I mean you know I can't just not take them, <laughs> you know, like I can't just not do that like they're, they're they're mine I have to I have to have them and uh, have them I will I'll take them at the expense of my own personal um, mental health <laughs> I'm kidding of course mostly they do taste really bad though is the moral of the story but I know why now and if it, it feels better for me to take them which is weird because it does they don't taste different but all of a sudden, I'm able to take them a lot easier just because I know what they are. You know? I'm not so scared anymore of the unknown. Not knowing what it is, why it tastes bad, I'm like, yeah, it's sulfur. It tastes bad. Deal with it, you know? I don't know. It's, uh, it's strange. I still don't like taking them. I'm still hoping that when uh, my, uh, my new ones in three months replace these, I'm hoping that I get to go back to the non- Sulfur, or well, it'll still be sulfur, but the non-pure sulfur, um, kind of taste. But you know, we'll see. We'll have to wait and see how it goes. I think I have to talk to my uh, my endo again anyway to get a new prescription, which means I might have to get a, another reference from my doctor. I don't know how this all works. I'm amazed I'm even able to get this far. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, figured out though as I go. Figured out as I go. How was your guys' weekends? Oh, this weekend actually we watched uh, we watched Finding Dory. Actually, when did Finding Dory come out? When did Finding Dory come out? In Canada, Finding Dory came out on June 17, 2016. Four and a bit years ago. What's what's the the threshold for spoilers? I think four years has passed it, right? Anyway, we're gonna talk about Finding Dory. If you don't want to hear spoilers and stuff, like you want to watch it and you haven't watched it yet and you don't want to be spoiled, like just don't watch the episode, dude. Just give up here. You know, thanks for watching. See us in like twelve hours. But um, anyway, we're gonna talk about Finding Dory because I watched I watched that this weekend and man, I want to talk about it. So. Uh, my sister was was adamant that we were going to be doing a um, a movie night, right? And I was like, whatever, okay. So I, I brought my phone and I was mostly reading during it, but I like I was still paying attention to the. You know, I'm good at multitasking, right? And um, like right now, I'm playing RuneScape. I'm talking. I'm playing KF2. Like I'm doing many things. I'm a good at uh, I'm good at the 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 multitasking. I'm uh, I'm quite competent. And being able to split my brain up into multiple things. So I was reading and um, watching Finding Dory, and I just don't get it. <laughs> it's the thing. I just don't get it. So, like, I, I know what Finding Nemo is. I guess, I guess maybe if I watched Finding Nemo before I watched Finding Dory again, like just to, to kind of like re get everything going again, like I might have I might have been able to to understand what's happening a little bit better. But like. Even then, I don't know, cause like the thing is, you start off with with Dory, right? And Dory's a little baby, and she she's a talking fish. I already like it's already it's already it's off to a bad start. I don't like talking fish, okay? Um, so she's a talking fish, and she's she's forgetting everything, and she forgets, you know, she 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 she, she uh turns around and she's forgotten what she was doing, you know, like like terrible short term memory. 
and it's just completely gone, right? And uh, so she forgets her parents after she gets yeeted, and um, she uh, she ends up like finding you know Nemo and Marlin or whatever, and and you know the whole finding Nemo thing happens. Um, but then she's she's like, yeah, I, I gotta find my parents, you know. So she ends up remembering something about her parents. She's like, I have to go find my parents. So then she runs across the whole ocean, and they just kind of like time lapse at this time on some turtles' backs. And I'm like, huh, okay. And then um, they uh, they they end up like trying to infiltrate this like aquatic amusement park thing to find her parents who were in captivity. And I'm just, I guess, I guess the part that gets me with it is just. Like, it's all about talking fish, you know? And, I don't know, I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not big into movies, but I'm just like... The fish are intelligent, and like, I don't know, like, like... It was just, it was just a bad movie, I didn't get it. Like, like, why are these fish trying to find their parents? Like, your fish, your, your, your fish parents are probably dead. <laughs> you know? How many years has it been? They're dead. They've either been eaten, or killed, or... Caught. Like, they're dead. <laughs> Fish don't fish don't live that long. Okay, and uh, anyway, they get to the the, the 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 like aquatic amusement park thing, and like an octopus is helping them walk around, or is helping her walk around. Does a bird is helping the other two walk around, or something like that? And I'm not just I just you know they eventually find their parents, and then they have to have like some whale sharks or whatever come in and make a mess of the place for 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 the truck to end up like being taken over by the octopus and just I don't get it I don't I don't get the uh, the appeal of, of the entire movie like I'm like I, I watched it and I just at the end of it I'm like I don't I don't understand what I got from this <laughs> I just I don't get it you know I don't know I'm not a big movie person but like that that's genuinely about my experience with Finding Dory like, I know it didn't make much sense but like this movie just doesn't make sense to me I don't, I don't get the point of it, you know? Typically when I watch movies, I like for it to be interesting, entertaining, you know, informative. I don't watch movies that much anyway, but I, I expect the movies to at least, you know, have some kind of a, a point. It didn't, it, there, there was no point. It was just some fish swimming across the ocean trying to infiltrate a aquarium. And then when they did, they were like, oh shoot, my father has been escaped from the pipes. Because you can just swim out of the aquarium through the pipes. You can't do that. Okay, if you go to an aquarium, the pipes aren't going to be there for you to, to swim out of into the ocean. They, don't, they, they specifically don't want the, the contamination of that. Like, You're not going to be able to, to just do that. You're, you're not able to come and go freely. Um... Anyway, I just, I didn't get it, is the thing. I don't get, um, like in general, just, just movies with talking animals. Like, I know that it's a whole thing and people are like, oh, the animals are so cute and they're talking. And I'm just like, the animal, why are the animals talking? I don't get it. <laughs> why, why, you know what, we can't actually, uh, we can't actually, stand too far away here because we can't we can't really get around a corner or anything like that that's not gonna work you should look concerned no 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 this is this is some radio silence territory here okay we have to this is this is some try hard moment here okay I really want to win, and we did it. That was a close call. That was a very close call. I just don't get the talking animals thing in movies. I don't get it. I mean, I don't get movies. You know, I just I don't I don't get movies in general. Let alone let alone when there's talking animals and stuff. I just uh, I don't know. To, to me, 
I like I like there to be some semblance of realism in uh, in the media that I I consume. And I just uh, when, when when it's all about fish that are talking and, and swimming around the ocean, I'm just like, yeah, yeah, yeah I guess it's it's at the point where I just I feel like I can't criticize any of the plot holes because it's about fish that are talking and like whales that are friends with fish and sharks and I I guess that it's just kind of like oh wait this isn't where I want to be. I, I guess it's just like I, I feel I can't criticize the plot holes because it's just well that's how it is in this world you know there's talking fish you know you really think there can't be a, a pipe that leads out into the ocean you really think the octopus can't find its way around you really think the octopus can't camouflage itself so perfectly? Like, that? like I get that octopuses or octopods or octopi or however you want to say it, they can camouflage. Not like that. <laughs> not like that. Not that quickly and not that, uh, you, you can't be invisible. Like he was in water and he was just invisible. It's like, that doesn't work. Okay? But, anyway. You just, I, uh, I, I feel like any criticism I raise with it, even in my own mind, you know? It's not even like uh, criticisms that other people are like, well, it's, uh, it's about talking fish. You can't really expect that kind of realism from it. It's, it's just about the entertainment. Even even my own brain is like, well, you can't, you know, it's, it's, it's arguing these same points to me. I'm just like, I know that, but it still bothers me. And then uh, I just, I can't really complain about this stuff. I can't really, I can't really raise the part the parts that I didn't like about it, you know? I guess that's what it what it kind of boils down to for me when there's when there's talking animals. It's just like, well, this isn't our world, you know. The animals don't here don't talk. Things are different over there. I'm just, uh, you know, I don't know. It's it it, it just it bothers me, man. Anyway, I watched Finding Dory. I didn't like it. It, it was just a terrible movie. It was a terrible movie. I'm sorry. If, if you like Finding Nemo. That's that's your own prerogative. You know, you're allowed to like it. For me, I think it was one of the worst movies I've ever seen in my life. And I've seen very few movies. So it's not a very low bar, but um It was it was just probably the worst movie I've ever seen. I just Like from from start to finish, I feel like nothing happened. Like nothing important happened from start to finish. There were there was there was no conflict at any point really, you know? I mean there was conflict, but like it never felt like there was any kind of danger involved, you know? Like, she's with the octopus, and the octopus is just kind of taking her around. And, uh, you know, there, there's conflict, because they have to avoid the people who are looking for the octopus. Except every time the people find the octopus, the octopus is just like, see ya! And then he gets out immediately, and I'm like, well, you could have, like, you could have built it up to be a moment, you know? And then Nemo and Marlin are like stuck in a fish tank. And then they're just like, oh no, we're stuck. What would Dory do? And then they just jump out of the fish tank and, and hop along to a different place. Go into the pipes and out into the ocean. And... <laughs> like, it's just... I just don't get it. Because there's just no risk involved. There's there, Nobody at any point was in any danger. Because you can just they can just overcome anything by just doing whatever they want and it'll work. It will just work. Like, that's that's the entire point of the movie. I think I think that's the moral that we learned was that no matter what you want to do do it and it will work because it will just work if you do it and don't think very hard you know like that's 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 the whole moral of the story that 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 I that I saw you know was was literally just what would Dory do oh you know not think about what she does just do it and then it will just work you know like that's what it all boiled down to like that's just not it's not a good lesson to be teaching people and then like it's just dumb. <laughs> I don't know. It was it was it was an extremely unenjoyable experience for me, um, honestly. And I, I would wholeheartedly recommend that nobody watch Finding Dory because it was just garbage. It, it was it was trash. And uh, I harbor no um, resentment towards my sister for bringing this this tirade of garbage upon me. Uh, she's a fan of it. She likes it. It's fine if you like it. You know, you're allowed to like it. Um, 
but yeah. just just for me, I was it was just garbage, man. But yeah, whatever. I don't watch movies that often because I like honestly when I watch a movie, I usually don't like it. You know, I usually watch it and I'm just like, why would they do this? Why wouldn't they have done that? Why why would why did they you know why did they open the door? <laughs> you know, they they knew something was behind the door. Why why did they open the door? Why they why didn't they just leave? And uh, I just I can't enjoy movies because of because uh, of that very often. Mean meanwhile meanwhile you know I I read like you know Chinese web novels and stuff and it's like <laughs> everything works out for them you know like I was I was I was reading one today. Uh, if you read Chinese light novels, this will be a mild spoiler for. Um, Genius Doctor Black Belly Miss. Mild spoiler for like chapter, I don't know, 700 or 900 or something. Um, but she finds like a, uh, a rabbit, right? And the rabbit is getting like brutally busted. And, um, and uh, so she's like, well, I'm going to go save the rabbit. So she saves the rabbit. And the rabbit turns out to be like some super powerful rabbit. But it's only super powerful after it's almost brought to death, and then it unlocks its superpowers. So then she's like, oh, well, that's cool. Now I have a super powerful rabbit. I'm going to keep the rabbit. And I'm like, okay, so that just conveniently works out that you find, like, it's like, it goes from, like, the weakest possible beast to, like, the strongest possible beast just because of, like, okay, that's, you, you just pulled that right out of your butt. But even knowing that, I can enjoy it. And I guess that's kind of what's happening with, uh, with Finding Dory. Is that if you like that kind of medium, if you like that kind of content, then you're, you're going to be able to look past the uh, the flaws, and you're going to be able to enjoy it. Um, you know, for for me, I can look past things in in, in web novels, manga, uh, and stuff, and and enjoy it because I like the medium, I like the uh, the, the, the 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 cliches and the tropes and all that. You know, I I appreciate them. I can enjoy them, and I guess it's the same thing for for people who who like Disney movies and like talking animals and movies and stuff. You know, they enjoy the the base idea, and they can look past the you know it's, it's about that suspension of disbelief. And I just I can't I can't do that with um with movies. I I can't bring myself to do it. I don't know why. You know, with 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 anime, with manga, with even with you know, like TV shows even. You know, like, I watched, uh, um, the one with Walter White in it, Breaking Bad. I've watched, um, The, the Good Place, you know, I've watched, uh, a few of these, few of these TV shows, like live action TV shows. Not just, I'm not just a weeb, okay? And, like, even, even with those, like, I can, I can suspend my disbelief and, and enjoy them for, for what they are. But when once once it's in like a movie form, and you're like, yeah, sit here for two hours and watch these talking fish talk to each other and make absolutely no progress towards any kind of goal that that actually matters. I'm like, yeah, I just um can't I can't suspend the disbelief. <laughs> I can't do it. Can't bring myself to do it. Even with live action movies, it's just. They, they have to be really good for me to enjoy them. Because I just I don't enjoy movies in general. So unless it's really good, I just kind of don't like it. But it was like... Finding Dory was just... I don't know. It felt like a movie for children. And a lot of movies for children... Like uh, Pixar actually does this particularly well. A lot of children's movies... Uh, will oftentimes be... You know, made for children but enjoyable by adults. Finding Dory did not feel like that. Um, Disney movies, like classic Disney movies, now that Disney owns half of the movies that exist in existence. Um, you know, every movie's a Disney movie, but, like, you know, Disney movies like Cinderella, Finding Dory, Finding Nemo. You know, classic. Is Finding Dory even Disney? Yeah, it's Disney, right? It's Disney. Um, I'm pretty sure it's Disney. Anyway, like classic Disney movies, I, I feel like they're just not. You know, I, I feel like you're either a Disney fan and you're enjoying them when you're an adult or you're not a Disney fan. And as an adult, you just look at these and you're like, why? 
Why? And uh, I, I feel like you have to be a Disney fan to, to enjoy it, and I'm not. You know? You either enjoy that type of stuff, that, that childish humor, or you don't. And, and I, 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 I just don't. So that was my weekend. I wouldn't say it was ruined by the Finding Dory, but it was definitely like a couple of hours that I would have rather spent on something else. Because it was uh, it was not particularly enjoyable. I would have rather like slapped or something. Not not particularly enjoyable. I just uh, I wouldn't say it was wasted, but it was kind of like I don't know. I only have so much time on the weekends, and then and then I had to spend it watching like this terrible movie. I'm like, yeah, I would have rather just uh, done anything else. <laughs> I would have rather just you know pooped for two hours or something <laughs> like I just uh yeah it was it was it was it was just a bad movie I uh I can I can understand how somebody might enjoy it if, if you're if you're into that you know again it's okay to to enjoy things that that I don't I'm uh, I'm not gonna get upset with you for for liking content I like a lot of trash myself um I recognize that but Yeah, that was a sick kill. Did I die too? No, it says defeat on screen, not victory. <laughs> uh. Dear. <laughs> anyway, uh, you watch what you want to watch. You enjoy what you enjoy. I'll enjoy what I enjoy, which is not movies. Movies, not my thing. Anyway, that's going to do it for today. Thanks for watching. Remember to like the video if you like it. Subscribe to see more in the future. Comment if you have anything to say. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye.